This is you right here. We're doing the jiggy or the juggy or whatever that freaking thing is, the doogie, whatever it is, at the end, because you are going to attack this kid. Oh, coach, it's the Dougie, coach, the Dougie, get it right. Rich Slater may not know how to dance and have the moves, but he knows how to win. How about another Federation title for the Lou High girls? And some of them are here in the Sports Rush studios tonight. Boogie Brzozowski, Stacey Barrett, and Katie Lavelle. Welcome, girls, you got the medals around your neck, you got smiles on your faces. You're just smiling because the season is over? Uh, uh, smile because we won. Because you won. Okay, well, that's good. Well, how does it feel to be the girls' team on Long Island to win some sort of state competition this year? Great. It's the best feeling ever, especially with these girls. It's the best group of girls to win it with. And you won as an eighth grader, correct? Yeah, but it wasn't really a win for me. I was in the hospital, so. So you're standing. So, hey, this is a win for you. As long as you left the Federation one standing. If you guys take down this team in the championship game, you do it with defense, you get 30 steals. Was that Coach Slater's game plan, or was it just like, well, we're just getting steals. We might as well just get 30. That was the game plan. Game plan? That was the key to this game. At one point, can you feel a game like that, Stacey, where it's like these girls have no chance against our defense? Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> what does it feel like? It just, once you start playing defense and you keep playing and you keep playing and you see that they're getting turnovers, it's, it's just comes natural. And you guys had a run, 9 nothing run, then a 12 nothing run early in the game. Uh, is it like, we got to keep our foot on the gas? Do you have to tell yourself that, Boogie? It basically comes down to the energy, and that's what I think we had. We had confidence and energy throughout the whole game, and the locker room was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like we can really? to win. The locker room was crazy, you say. <laughs> Miss Stacy, was the locker room crazy? The locker room was very crazy. Did you make the locker room crazy? <laughs> yes, I did. Should we show last... everybody? Can I get an amen? Go with this. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Every game, how often would we see it? Tell me the truth. Honestly, this is what it started, started on the bus. Really? Started, yeah, on the it bus. started on the bus on our way home from a practice that was up in Albany. Mm -hmm. And everyone got hyped from it. And I just started doing it. You got medals around your neck. Amen, girl. Amen. 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 Oh, listen, you have a couple losses around Christmas time. Right? <laughs> what happens then? Do you start to doubt yourself? Yeah, a little bit. It was certainly not, you know, we, it kept us down a little bit, but we knew we would come back and we did. <laughs> what was it about the losses? Was it a team meeting? Was it Coach Slater giving you the, hey, listen, we got to get some blinders on and get back? Honestly, I think it was just us. I think we were tired of losing. We were tired of the slump. So we just came back hard and practiced hard. That's what I think happened. We were just tired of losing. Was it the game against Shabazz, New Jersey's number one ranked team, which, by the way, makes you the best team in their state, too. We're going to give you that title. Was it that game against Shabazz, though, Stacey, that, that turned it? I mean... They're a really good team, and for us to come out like we did and come out strong and play so hard, it, it was just, it was just great. Like we won, <laughs> like it was really good. And you also beat Bishop four two, yes, a we championship did. and a state championship team in Maryland, right? Yes. So that makes you the best team in Maryland. <laughs> so we keep going. Connecticut teams won't play you, right? No. So I see the best team in Connecticut. Let's go to Kentucky. We'll go all the way out west to Utah if we want to do. <laughs> Well, for you girls, what does it mean now to be able to go right back to school? And I know the boys didn't win. You would have loved to have the double championship, but what does it mean to go into the hallways, maybe with the medal around your neck? Uh, it means a lot. It means yeah. a lot, especially the boys really get all the attention around the school. So for us to win this and to come back, it means, it means a lot to the school. Mr. Facey and company. <laughs> Take the medals there, Katana. They got the medals. Uh, school celebration, will there be one? Do we know? Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. we will. We can make that happen <laughs> if you want. Uh, and for everybody, um, Coach now, he's not here. Mm -hmm. Do we make him do the Dougie in front of the whole school? Since oh, you're yeah. Going? Coach, you're doing the Dougie. Who's going to teach him how to do the Dougie? I'll do it. Jenna. Jenna. Oh, oh Jenna. 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 Jenna's the teacher. Jenna's still hiding. She's the secret She's secretly. 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 She's the secret. We just found out. Dougie do it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Can we get an amen? Amen. Can we get a championship? Championship. Can we do it again next year? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can I get a commercial break? Oh, sure. Okay, we're going to commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. You just walk on